I'm Tom Stockley. I also uh, perform under the stage name T.S. Idiot. Uh, I'm a poet, a writer, a performer, multidisciplinary artist, uh, I would say, is, is my kind of umbrella term. Um, anything creative, anything to do with communities is what I do. My name is Natalie Ohana. I'm a lecturer at the law school. Um, my research area is the relationship between law and trauma. Um, but the way I look at trauma is as I would look at a lens, actually. So I look through trauma to see what can be seen about society in general, but specifically about how the legal system plays a part in or, or um, participating in either sustaining power relations or enabling their change. So the things we were looking at, um, we're kind of comparing my experience uh, as a community worker, as a youth worker, as a social activist, um, having been involved as a volunteer medic in protests around Bristol, um, and comparing that to Natalie's experience uh, as a lawyer, working on kind of human rights cases, community cases, um, looking at the ways that communities are affected by the law, um, protected and sometimes not protected by the law, um, looking at things that can affect communities, you know, big disasters, things like Grenfell, um, and how that can affect communities, and, and using our shared experience and knowledge to kind of explore this and, and look at how the law treats these communities. Um, yeah, that's what we kind of came into it. We started with Tom um, introducing himself um, in part of the lecture, so, so basically telling the students where he comes from, what is his background, why did he decide and want to be part of this. So that was really important because students could really understand you know, how to connect and from which point to even start. But then Tom joined the seminars, which were basically small groups of students. And he went through the students and had one-to-one -one conversations with them. So they told him about the, um, their projects. So, and he was able to ask questions and that was crucial, I think, because his questions were obviously not bound to the legal thinking or to, you know, what, whatever guidance I gave, but actually came much more from the social, from the political, from the abstract. Um, he also connected the things that he, so that everything they shared with him, he connected to his own experience. That, I think that was just generally very, kind of an eye opener for the students, kind of allowing them to think more broadly but also more critically about their projects and also to see why it is relevant and why it is important right because it's coming not from a legal mind right it's coming from an artist a member of the community really interested in wanting to know more and from that they could also sense the importance of their work so collage was really the first medium that, that i learned to use as a as a student but before that even um, at school as a teenager when I was first uh, learning how to be an artist, um, collage was just such an immediate and accessible way to make and explore my ideas. Um, and increasingly, the last few years, my practice has become a lot more performance based, a lot more about writing um, and theatre making and spoken word. But I still use collage to explore ideas, to kind of collect and collate um, subject matter and themes. So it's really nice to kind of go full circle and come back to this point where I felt like a kind of giant collage really represents the, the journey that I've been on with this fellowship and that there's so many ideas and themes and moments to kind of collect the collage seemed the obvious answer. The collages were just a, a creation of a closure. So that was after a meaningful process has already happened and then it was the last seminar of, of the module so basically our last session with the students and then we just thought of something to do that would allow the students and I really remember how Tom directed them to express their projects um, through abstract and philosophical and emotional in emotional ways and the students really connected to that, right? I was really surprised to see how they immediately 
got very connected and understood exactly what he meant by that and were really 100% uh, kind of took, took it with both hands, right? Really happy to, to give it a go. The exhibition is, is not a final outcome. It's still an ongoing, um, an ongoing process, I guess. It, it, it's a, a giant sketchbook, really, <clears throat> kind of trying to bring together some of my experience, some of Natalie's experience, our shared ideas, some of that research, um, some of the poets and writers and philosophers and law um, material that I've been reading, um, trying to share snapshots of some of these stories, some of these communities, um, which I hope I've, I've done kind of with sensitivity. They're, they're massively complicated, um, huge and traumatic histories. Um, so there's lots to see and I hope that <clears throat> people can, can piece together what they want from it. You know, there's, there's lots from there, from my experience as a community worker, um, from a protester, uh, from Natalie's writing, um, to writing based on the, the court case notes um, and newspaper reports. So there's lots of different experiences um, and ideas coming together. One part is really recognising how much this type of encounter is valuable for me. I really feel that for, to fulfill what I'm trying to do and to even be able to think about the things I'm trying to think about, I have to include the art into this, right? So just Tom being there and, you know, seeing him before the seminars and then we would always stay after and, and have a really long chat, like, like a really long conversation about things. Um, really just made me realize how, how valuable right, this collaboration is and how needed it is because we do talk about interdisciplinarity but we are at the end within our disciplines, within our departments and we don't have real opportunities of thinking together in an interdisciplinary way. So that's what I really realized through the collaboration with Tom. What this whole process and working with Natalie has has taught me and kind of equipped me with is is yeah that deeper understanding of the law because often uh, when when you're on on that side of protests and making work about that um, or working with communities um, you're often very much kind of outside of of justice and the law you don't feel like that's something you can access you know a lot of the communities that I work with and talk to um, the law is yeah not something that that is helpful to them or understood um, and to get a better understanding of, of yeah the, the, the faults in the law and how it can fail us but also some of those ways in which we can use it to our advantage. Um, it's definitely been really useful I think it's really important to, to know about especially as we're seeing more and more laws introduced um, that are being challenged by people um, and the more we know about that the more we can talk about it the more we can um, yeah, make work about it. So that's been a really useful, yeah, process.